to my first week of Battle of the Stitches, Battle of the Stitches, which is, is the first of May today, and the stitch we're starting off with is the front loop slip stitch. So to start off with, appropriate size hook to go with your yarn, if, and we're just going to make a simple chain. To start any amount of stitches will work. Something I did want to point out by with playing with the stitch I noticed that if you do things too tight it becomes harder later on. So how many stitches we've got? Two, four, six, eight. So into the second stitch we'll do our first slip stitch. Pull through and pull through again. This is where you really don't want to be too tight, otherwise the next row will prove very difficult. So to start off with, we are just single crocheting through these stitches, and this amount can be any amount you like. I've missed So I didn't do that right there, I didn't pull through all the stitch, so back we go. Very hard doing this with the camera in front of you. Even though you can see what you're doing, it throws your brain off. So no yarning over, just pulling it through. And keeping that tension on the slightly loose side. If you do crochet rather tightly, I do suggest you go up a hook size or two and see if that helps. So at the end of the row, chain one, turn your work. And this is when we start in the front loop. When, as, when you do a stitch, you end up with V's and these have two sides so we're only going to be working into the front of the V's not the backs so instead of having two parts of the V on our loop we're just going to have that front one yarn over and then pull through both remembering not to pull too tight Takes a bit of adjusting to only be slip stitching when your minds are used to yarn over and pulling throughs. In fact, it does make. Might have been a bit tight, yeah. So even after doing this a few times myself, I still find myself going slightly too tight. So start again. That is to rip out a stitch or two. Then to be ripping out your hair later. So three. Another tip is when you pull through, is to pull that up to the height of the loop in front and then pull it through. And that way your stitches should stay even. And that's how I found it easier. If you've got another way to make the stitch easier, I'd love to hear how you do it. Looks like it looks slightly forward and then turn it over. It's got a nice line. So let's chain one and turn and start again. Find your front loop 
in the first stitch and slip. I'm sure anybody following along will be doing this faster and more efficiently than me. See, that one I did there was a bit too tight, so it's hard to get the hook into it. So learn from my mistakes and keep your stitches loose and keep that pull through as high as a chain in front before you pull it through and very soon they will become easier as long as you keep your tension consistent and not too tight when i tried this last week handed up with a bit that started off and i went mm. i had the same right amount of stitches each time but i was just going too tight One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, still the right amount of stitches. Chain one, turn. So I'm going to do a few more rows off camera and then I'll come back on and show you what it looks like. Hi, yeah, I'm back. I changed. Yarn sizes, I went up to weight four because the weight three was very hard to see, so I thought I'd up it a bit. And there goes the dog complaining, so I've chained one and I'll do one more row with you and show you what it looks like. I'm very sorry about the dog, there is a lot going on today. We've got, um, Well, it's election time around here and we've had a lot of people walking up and down and posting flyers and leaflets through the door and I think she thinks somebody wants to come and play with her. I said, let us know there's people around, people that aren't usually around. And it's fair enough. If she wants to let us know she's not happy about it. Anyway, this is what we end up with. It's uh, quite a nice texture. In, in a way, it reminds me of knit stitches with the pearl stitches there. It's basically the same back and forward. Um, back and front, sorry. It's a little stretch to it. There's quite a bit of stretch to it, actually. So what I'm going to do is start on the project. I've got mine for this and see how it goes. And next Monday, Monday, Wednesday, I mean, I'll give you a sneak peek of what I'm doing. So that was the front, front loop slip stitch. Thanks for watching.